Investigator Amy Davis is here with the one man story that puts the problem really into perspective, Amy. Yeah, I mean, at least it did for me. You know, the city's public works ordinance says that if it accidentally overcharges you by more than six times what you usually pay for water and you pay that bill, it's only going to give you that money back in the form of a credit on future bills unless you specifically ask for a refund. And even then, the process is very slow and confusing. 95-year-old Ray Dittmar is a widower. He's lived in this Timber Grove home for the last 45 years, long enough to know he uses, on average, 15 gallons of water a day. That's about 450 gallons, or about 30-something dollars a month, until this past July. $2,017.55. His meter reading showed he used 111,000 gallons. I was uh, shocked, to say the least. But Dittmar paid it and applied for an unusually large bill adjustment. The city has 90 days to review and approve or deny those requests. But the very next month, Dittmar's bill showed he used another 14,000 gallons. The next month, the city says he used another 10,000. That got Dittmar moving. I knew I hadn't used that much water, and so I went out and checked the meter myself. See for yourself. On October 28th, when we checked the meter with Dittmar, it read 806,930. But the city billed him based on an estimated meter reading of 807,000 all the way back on September 1st. And the bills kept coming. On October 1st, the city estimated that his meter read 817,000, charging him another $180. Personally, I think the uh, the water department uh, has uh, has financial problems. I think now they're uh, trying to uh, uh, to remedy that by. Uh, taking advantage of people like me. When we reached out to the city in November, the water department finally agreed to refund Dittmar that $2,017 he paid back in August. But citing privacy laws, they wouldn't explain what happened that caused such large inaccurate bills. A spokesperson wrote us, extraordinary bills are uncommon as the city's billing accuracy is greater than 99%. A large bill causes great concern and our team works to resolve these issues quickly. While Dittmar was happy to get his money back, he is also unclear as to how his readings got so out of whack. And until he trusts that they're accurate, he'll continue checking his meter himself. Now, there is a whole lot of information about your rights when it comes to water billing errors in the City of Houston Code of Ordinances. It's information that the Water Department doesn't readily give up, so we are sharing that information with you on clicktohouston.com in case you have a billing error or a question about your bill. I mean, so if you do, let's say you get a super high bill, is it smart just to pay it and then go argue with the city later? Right. Do you just not pay it because you know for a fact this is crazy? Right. Well, they do say that if you don't pay it, then they can shut off your water, right? right? So, I mean, that's sort of where they get you. But on our website, you'll see some of the things you can ask for review, you can ask for a hearing, and in some of those instances, your suspension or the, the, the um, claims that they're going to turn off your water stops the minute you request that. Interesting. So, okay. you just All have right. to know that. At the that. very least, just go check the meter. That's yes. Right. Yeah. Amy.